Hello everyone, T-Man978. Today I'm reviewing Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Drag Strip. First thing I want to point out about this packaging is something that Hasbro has been flip-flopping back and forth on since the release of the original G1 Transformers. They have purple markings like here and at the top of the package right there, the cart. On the Autobot versions, it's yellow. Right there and there. And back in the day, the, the, the Decepticon packaging used to be totally purple. And the Autobot packaging used to be totally red. And that was like a really cool thing to differentiate between the two factions. On the back, we see he's a ruthless Decepticon racer. Super generic. On the side, we see that he combines with Minasaur. He's number one. But on the back, they still have him with Superion and the Aerial Bots. Here's a better look of his character art. Which is completely different from his little card inside. This is way more G1, just like Skydive. Bah. I like the way the instructions fold out now. Like this is a whole separate part, but it comes out to bring out this full image. I'm not going to fold this out here. He comes with a sword that can be held as a gun. And I guess this would be some type of cannon. And of course it's the hand slash foot. For Minasaur. And here we have Dragstrip. One thing that I liked about him straight out of the packaging, his little crotch area is more fuller. It's like less like flat and skinny compared to Skydive right here. He has some extra articulation in his feet due to his transformation. Actually, I don't think this is part of the transformation. It's part of the limb mode, but it gives him an extra little toe joint right there. Besides his feet, he actually has some wrist articulation too due to his transformation. And just like Skydive, he does have a lot of paint, which I didn't expect. Like all of this is that mustard yellow paint right there. For some reason, I don't know why, they painted his thighs with, instead of using pl plastic that's already colored, like this purpley, I don't even know what to call this color. <laughs> but there's a nice Decepticon symbol stamped on, and his face, it's so odd, and I like it. It's like his visor is a cross between blood dripping down his face and like snake teeth, snake fangs. Here's his head. He kind of does have those antennas that he used to have in the G1, his G1 form. But his only flaw to stop him from being like a perfect G1 bot is I'm so used to Dragstrip having four wheels right here on his arms. I mean, they did try to give us somewhat of a homage by giving him these tall shoulders. But they're not yellow. They're purple. <clears throat> and yeah, he's still cool. Like, like Scott Avi has a lot of articulation. Here's the ball jointed neck. His head actually transforms differently. Got the two points at the shoulder. The ball right there, bicep swivel, elbow bend that goes more than 90 degrees, waist, hips on the ball joint, they seem to, yeah, no, they can go all the way out, thigh swivel, knee bend, and that toe joint I mentioned. You can hold this gun, 
He can't hold it under his hand. He can hold it above. And his joints are nice and tight. Let's get ready. Wait, let's see if he has one of those ports. Yep. He has one of those stand ports on his butt too. Let's get ready for transformation. Which should be so simple, I should be able to figure this out on camera. Take the weapons out of his hands. Put these in. Rotate this around. <clears throat> Maybe turn his head around. Let's see. Rotate this up here. Rotate his waist. his feet together slide them in and bring these arms down pretty simple he's done it's a formula one racer he has a nice seat that's really it's not a, a seat really it's just the black covering Here's another Decepticon logo there. So you can't get him confused with an Autobot. Autobot. He doesn't have six wheels like the original G1 toy. He does have some weapon ports. The gun or sword hangs out like that. <laughs> I guess you could port this over there. Let's see if he can roll with that in there. Barely. Anywho, let's figure out the limb modes. Let's go with the leg first since it's easy. Bend this down. Come on, loosen up. Oh, actually, <laughs> bend it this way. Move the head, rotate. Come on. That's in there. Push the head forward to get that out of the way. And bring the foot, bring this toe out, <clears throat> or heel spur. Put that in there, and bam, he's a leg. Actually, you want to bring this joint up. Boom, he's a leg. Also, there's another option where you can move this bumper part forward and put the foot in there. I'm not sure if if he's taller than the aerial bot legs or what. I'm going to go straight to arm mode from here. I'm going to take that out, bring these this back down. You can pull this, well actually separate the arms. Pull this down, and it's a little bit more tricky. Put the peg this way. Stick his arm straight up. Bring them down like this. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they do. It's a little cut right there that this shoulder is supposed to go in. Turn arm like this. It doesn't really peg neatly and tightly. Rotate the arms so that he kind of looks like an axe or something. And now basically he's an arm. Transform this hand. Pull the fingers out. Put a boom. I'll make him a right. I mean, yeah, right arm since I made skydive a left arm. And now. He's an arm. He can hold this little tiny sword with his big giant hand. Or use it as a gun, which still looks bad for this big giant hand. He 
technically has blasters right there, so he doesn't even need a weapon. But there he is in arm mode. As you can see, these don't really pop in. They just it's just friction. It doesn't like pegging all that tight. Let's see if this other peg slot is better. Yeah, that that's a little bit more tight. But I don't know if it's going to make his his arm shorter than his other Constructicon arm when that one comes out. I meant Stunticon. Personally, I would have loved Dragstrip to be a little bit more G1, but at the end of the day, he's still a good fee figure. From the pictures I've seen of Minasaur, he is not going to be a good combiner. The Motormaster body for that bot just looks ugh, ugly to me. I'll have to see it when I finally get Minasaur. Or get the all the bots to make Minasaur, I mean. But ugh, maybe I'll just keep them all in their regular robot modes and not a combined mode. But <laughs> I'll see when I get the, when I cross that bridge. Anyway, if you like this video, subscribe, like, share, comment. I'm willing to hear any types of suggestions you might have or any of your thoughts that you might have on these figures or anything else. Until next time, T-Man 978, goodbye.